Welcome to this RapidRap tutorial. Within the next 14 minutes we will see how to use the data quality wizard that allows us to measure and control the quality of data of any system. We are already in the RapidRap designer and we start by creating a new report definition based on a template. We choose the template called data quality evaluation and in the next screen we provide a unique name, in this case we call it sample data quality and if you like you can provide a different label and we finish this wizard. Now we see the report definition in the designer and we start by selecting the tab called environment and here we provide a new connection we call the connection books table connection and this connection should point to our books that we would like to test and I've prepared a data warehouse for this purpose and here we are. Now we go to the scripts and we create a new script. We give it a name called my books and on the right hand side we select our newly created connection in the source field and below in the body here we provide a um, select statement which in this case is a simple select star from and we open the database browser for this connection and we can use drag and drop here so this is our table or a selection of information which um, contains the data that we would like to test in this example. Now we have everything in place to start the data quality wizard and our script my books is already pre-selected and we may enter a meaningful description and in the lower part we select the data warehouse where RapidRap will save later on the results from our data quality evaluations now we tell RapidRap that book ID is the primary key of the underlying data source. In the last step we provide information where the rules are coming from that RapidRap should use. Rules are maintained in Excel workbooks and we will see later on how these rules look like. Here we provide the logical name for these rules and finish the wizard by pressing the finish button. Now we have a look at the underlying rules that we have selected in the data quality wizard. Therefore we open the Excel workbook and this workbook contains of a couple of sheets. In the overview sheet we see the, the sheet names and the ranges that we need for our data quality evaluations. In the checks sheet we provide groups and names for our checks that we want to uh, evaluate for example stocks must not be negative and we want to check the ISBN code with check code C2. The numbers here are important to limit the errors and to determine if data has improved or not. In the rules sheet we see at least one rule for each check so rule ID 1002 says book stock is less than zero then we don't care about the condition, the expected result is failed and stock must not be negative is our error message. To check the ISBN coding we have four rules and these are processed top down. So if the book ISBN is not provided we return the corresponding error message. If it's not size 10 we do the same. Um, if we end up in rule 1502 we know that the ISBN is provided, it has size 10 and now it depends on is valid ISBN, if it's true then the result is passed. So we can uh, change between failed and passed expected results here. And in all other cases we know that the ISBN coding must have been wrong because otherwise one of the other rules would have already applied. So where is the business logic specified behind is valid ISBN? Um, the answer is this is a function in our underlying report definition and this is not already part of our data quality wizard 
because this is an individual business function which you can build up on your own. So we could create it from scratch, but in this case we want to import it from our library. I have provided a demo function and here you see uh, that the coding of an ISBN number must fulfill this condition. The use of functions helps us to improve the readability of rules and now we have everything in place to test our report definition. We select the task that has been created by the data quality wizard and now RapidRap checks all the rules against our books table and opens up an Excel workbook. In our data quality report we find a couple of sheets. In the overview we see the overall result of our data quality check. In the overview of my books we see that we have one error um, where the stock was negative and three with wrong coding. In the delta sheet we see the comparison between a current evaluation and a reference evaluation. I did not provide a reference evaluation in this case. And here the delta information from our rule set is used to check if we have um, a deterioration or not uh, when it comes to compare to two different runs with each other. The records in our books table that have violated uh, at least one of our rules are shown in the details sheet and here we also find the rule ID that the record has violated. So here we have a negative stock for example. The rules themselves they are also exported to this workbook so that we can always see what has been used to determine the result. So now we have tested our report definition and if you think everything is fine we change the status of the report definition from draft to released. Um, if we release a report definition we cannot change it anymore. Of course we can create new versions but the released version may not be changed anymore. What is more important is the fact that only a released version can be used from outside, for example, from the report runner. Now we close the RapidRap designer and open the report runner application. On the left hand side we find the sample data quality report definition that we have just uh, released. This is version 1 and we create a new report based on it. Now we um, fill in the calculation parameters that are exposed to the user. First we provide the, the validity date for our rule set. We have only one rule set, so this is uh, only, there's only one selection possible here. And we provide a label for this evaluation, so we call it my first run. We don't have a comparison run because it's our first one. We calculate and render the report as usual and in a couple of seconds we see exactly the same result as we have seen in the report designer when we tested the report definition. So this is the same information of course. Now we create another report based on this version. and we change the calculation parameters and in this case we provide a label called my second run and the parameter above holds our comparison run, my first run that we have made previously and now we will see uh, Excel workbook that contains the comparison between our previous run and the current run. Here we are. The overall result is now passed. Uh, although we have still errors, these are the same errors as we had before, but this time there are no new errors. And this has to do because we have chosen a reference evaluation the reference evaluation that we have uh, run 
previously and now in comparison to our previous run um, the result has not deteriorated so we say the result is passed. Also the status of the detail sheet has now changed to old. So these are old and known errors. So now we want to change rules. Remember when we started the data quality wizard we have imported an initial rule set and now we want to change the rules. In this case we would like to add a new check and a new rule. We choose again a check group consistency and we say the check code should be called C3. We add similar values as before and our check should verify that the author and the title of a book are different. This again is just declaration of what we would like to test and now in the rules part we tell the system how the checks are to be performed. So check C3, we add a rule, the rule ID should be or must be unique and now in the precondition column we enter the condition that signals an error. So book author is equal to book title. Uh, an additional condition is not necessary, the result is failed and the error message is indicating what has happened here. So we save our workbook um, but uh, these rules are not automatically active. We therefore have to go to the designer and we go to Tools, Manage Data Sheets and here we find a couple of models that are present in our repository. Here you find the rule set that we named in the Data Quality Wizard, the Data Quality Demo and here we find the checks and rules that we have already imported and now we select again the workbook with our changed rules and here we find the two imports for the checks and for the rules. Be careful that the import mode should be replacing all the other values. Um, if we click through the screens we see that there is no, no structural changes for example so we can quickly proceed here and now we find the new values in our model, the data quality demo model and before the values are active we need to release them either individually as I've done here or you can select multiples of them and release them in one step. Okay, now we go back to our report runner and we create a new report and in the calculation parameters we see that the, the dates that are offered for the rules um, are populated with three values. Now we choose the latest timestamp, meaning that we want to use the latest rules here. We provide a label again and we select a comparison run. Oops, uh, in this case I wanted to choose the second run. We save the changes and start calculation and rendering as we have done before. So the new rules are now applied against the, the book's data source and here we are. The new result is still passed. If we go to the rules sheet we see that there is a new rule for check code C3 but in the details we see that no record has violated this rule so the result is the same as before. We are at the end of this uh, RapidRap tutorial. We have seen how to use the data quality wizard and how to play around with rules which are maintained in Excel workbooks and uploaded into the RapidRap repository. I hope you enjoyed it and I wish you a lot of fun using the data quality wizard.